For many, the Apollo missions symbolize the pinnacle of space exploration. Throughout the 1960s and early 1970s, NASA and its astronauts were celebrated for their remarkable achievements, drawing worldwide admiration. However, just a year after Apollo 15's successful mission, the space agency faced a scandal that shook its reputation to its core. In an incident that involved accusations of smuggling, financial misconduct, and questionable decisions, Apollo 15 became the center of a congressional investigation. What began as a mission with noble scientific goals was tainted by controversy over a small but significant cache of postal covers. I'm Alex, and welcome to Ostrom. Today, we'll delve into the Apollo 15 postal scandal, explore how the controversy unfolded, and examine its long-lasting impact on spaceflight. On November 14, 1969, a German enthusiast named Horst Ehrman traveled Florida to the Kennedy Space Center to witness the launch of Apollo 12. On the same bus was another German, Hermann a stamp collector and dealer. The two struck up a conversation about their shared passion for space exploration and became friends. During this era, collecting space-themed stamps and covers was a popular hobby. NASA produced special covers for each Apollo mission, which were stamped on launch day. These covers became coveted items, often used as gifts or keepsakes. Some astronauts even took postal covers into space to bring back as personal mementos. Ironman, who worked with NASA, was well connected at the Kennedy Space Center. He had previously attempted to persuade Apollo astronauts to smuggle stamps into space in exchange for money, but had not succeeded. In May 1971, during a dinner with the Apollo 15 crew, David Scott, Alfred Worden, and James Irwin, Ironman made a new offer. He asked them to take 100 special stamp covers to the moon, and 300 for themselves, promising each astronaut $7,000 for their cooperation. Adjusted for inflation, this would be about $54,300 today. Initially, the crew was reluctant. NASA's ethical standards prohibited astronauts from profiting from their positions. Ironman, however, convinced them by claiming that other astronauts had participated in similar schemes. Additionally, NASA's recent changes to astronaut benefits, including the elimination of life insurance, played on their fears for their family's financial security. Ironman's offer seemed like a financial lifeline. While astronauts often took personal items into space, these needed NASA approval to ensure they were safe and within weight limits. Some personal items, like Alan Shepard's golf balls and Buzz Aldrin's communion wafer, were approved. However, the Apollo 14 crew's recent involvement in an unauthorized medallion deal had already caused controversy. NASA was keen to avoid further scandals.
Despite warnings from NASA's Director of Flight Crew Operations, Deke Slavin, the Apollo 15 crew decided to accept Ironman's offer, on the condition that the covers would not be sold until after their retirement from NASA. Separately, retired film director and stamp collector F. Herrick approached Warden with a similar request to take 144 covers into space. Unlike Ironman, Herrick offered no payment. Worden agreed, thinking it a favor to a friend, not realizing it would later play a crucial role in the unfolding scandal. On launch day, the Kennedy Space Center post office processed and stamped the covers. Among them were 144 approved Herrick covers. However, an oversight led to 400 covers being mistakenly included with the approved items. As a result, the contraband covers were packed into David Scott's space suit pocket. Apollo 15's mission was technically successful, featuring the debut of the lunar rover and the collection of the Genesis rock. However, the mission's triumphs were overshadowed by the emerging scandal. After Apollo 15, Ironman, and Herrick began selling the oversold his for $1,500 each, while Herrick's ranged between $790 and $1,250. The public soon became aware of these sales, raising questions about their legitimacy. In late October 1971, a buyer contacted NASA to verify the authenticity of the covers. Deke Slavin, unaware of the situation, informed Worden, who then demanded Herrick cease sales. By the time the Apollo 15 crew was in Germany for a NASA tour, the scandal was making headlines. The astronauts decided not to accept the promised $7,000, but the damage had already been done. Slayton was infuriated by the crew's actions, which he saw as a serious breach of trust. The astronauts faced severe consequences, including being removed from their roles as Apollo 17 backups and losing their spaceflight privileges. The public and media scrutiny further damaged NASA's image. On August 3, 1972, a Senate committee held hearings to investigate the scandal. The hearings revealed additional concerns, such as the unauthorized transfer of covers from the command module to the lunar module and the questionable handling of the issue by NASA. Slayton himself faced criticism for not reporting the matter to his superiors. The aftermath saw NASA demanding the return of all flung covers and suspending astronauts involved in similar misconduct. New regulations were put in place to prevent such incidents in the future. In 1978, the Justice Department ruled that NASA might have violated the astronauts' constitutional rights by seizing their personal covers without legal proceedings. This led to a 1983 lawsuit filed by Worden, resulting in an out-of-court settlement that returned the crew's covers. While Apollo 15 was a groundbreaking mission, its legacy was marred by this scandal, which highlighted both human fallibility and institutional flaws.
The story of the Apollo 15 cover serves as a reminder that even in noble pursuits like space exploration, ethical standards must be upheld. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other content about space missions in this playlist. A special thanks to my patrons and members. If you'd like to support the channel and get your name featured at the end of every Ostrom video, follow the links below. See you next time. Space exploration continues to be a fascinating subject, but it's essential to approach news with a critical eye. That's why I'm partnering with Ground News, an app developed by a former NASA engineer to provide a balanced perspective on current events. With Ground News, you can see a wide range of viewpoints and check the credibility of sources. Visit for 40% off the Vantage plan I use. Thanks for your support. Making this video involved extensive planning, and we're grateful for the consistent support of our patrons on. If you'd like to help us create more content like this, join us via the link below. Your support makes a difference. Until next time, explore the universe and keep reaching for the stars.